Hi friends, I hope everyone is doing well. Today I'll be talking about journals, specifically commonplace journals. Besides creating collages, I enjoy bookmaking and I made myself a new commonplace journal so I thought it'd be fun to film a tour of the new one and my previous ones. So let me get a bit organized, move some of these out of the way and we'll start with the first one. So far for all my commonplace journals, I've used discarded book covers as the substraints. And this is the first one I made in 2019. I actually kept the existing book cover because I love the worn gray cover and it's very soft to the touch. Besides adding a text block to this journal, I added fabric to the spine and I really like this commercial fabric. I have a nice big stash of it. I also added ribbon detail here and the ribbon for the closure. Let me open it up and I'll show you some of the inside. The inside cover has heavyweight scrapbook paper. I added tabs to some of the pages that I wanted to bookmark and I can easily refer back to it. As you can see, there's multiple ones. There's even some on the side. And then I don't wanna to show too much of what I wrote, but let me show you. I covered up this page because there's some very personal notes in there that I, I wanna keep private, but this is the type of page detail that I started doing in my journals. There's this one as well. And I actually sewed it in after I bound the journal. It can be done, it's just a little tricky. Here's another one. So that's the first journal I made. Let's go on to the next one. Here's the next one that I made in 2021. I used upholstery fabric samples on the outside covers. And this is tea stain fabric. This is the inside cover, and this is just fabric that was glued in. And I added some more details to the pages. Let me show you a few. There's this one, this one. This is the first time I attached a folder to my journal for storage. So I have papers and cards and notes stored in this area. So that was good to have. So this is the second one I made. Let's go on to the next one. The next one is one that I'm finishing up this month. I made it mid 2021 and it has fabric that I sun dyed on the covers. And on the spine is a piece of denim from an old pair of my jeans. And the closure is tea stain cotton fabric. As you can tell, I like using that as a closure. Let me open it up so you can see some of the inside. Once again, I used a used inner office envelope and I sewed that into the journal and have it for storage. I put things such as cards that I receive, stickers that I've bought, that type of thing in here. Once again, it has decorative details on the pages and it has little notes to say my 2022 goals. Put a little note there so it's easy for me to find. Now I'll show the new one that I made. This is my new commonplace journal and I'll be using it for June through December of this year, 2022. I want to start using one commonplace journal per year starting next year. When I started making these types of journals, I didn't think about having one a year. I just made a journal, used it until every page was completely filled in, then made a new one. Now that I have gotten into a routine of using it and have an idea of how I want to set up my journals, I think that having one a year will work out for me. Let's take a tour of this journal. The cover was made during my 2020 staycation. At that time, I did make quite a few covers. This cover is wrapped with upholstery sample fabrics. There's this texture woven fabric and on the spine is faux leather. I added an old decorative button and some sari ribbon as the closure. And this is the first time I've used a button as a closure. It's a nice decorative detail for the cover. So let's look inside. This is more of the sample fabric, um, upholstery sample fabric in brown. It's a nice woven heavyweight fabric. 
this is the first time I've added a bookmark to one of my journals for myself. I've made it for other people when I make commissioned journals. It's a nice feature to have in your journal. I added a decorative detail to the first page of each signature so I know where the each signature begins. As I use this journal, I'll add more decorative elements to the pages. I added these tabs to three of the signatures to signify the start of a new section. I have set up this journal to have three main sections. The first two signatures will be for my to-do list. As you can see, I have this one already set up. The second group of signatures are designated for notes for the videos I produce. This section will be good for me to refer back to in the future. I make notes about how I edited a video and those type of similar notes. And then the third section is actually just straight up journaling section. So this is where I'll write my daily notes or journaling about what happened during the day. And I stain these pages with bleeding tissue paper. I enjoy journaling on top of marked pages, so it's fun to leave these, to have this section very colorful. This time I didn't add a folder for storage. Not sure if I'm gonna regret this decision, but I can always add a loose folder to store in the back of the journal at any time. For now, I can put a clear bag for storage where I can put like the stickers I have or any other decorative elements that I add to the journal. And I'll just store it in the back. I hope you found this video interesting and it has inspired you to create your own journal or if you would like to commission a journal, I would love to make one for you. I'll add my email in the description area below. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye now.